Derek, what are three tips? This is really for everybody on the panel. Three tips or tactics that have helped you build your business. Three tips or tactics that has helped you build your business. Uh, consistency, content, and creativity. Okay. Give us a little bit more, Derek. So Give us a scenario. Okay, so a scenario is, so um, but, but first of all, for those who don't know me, uh, my company is Rio's Role Film Productions and Services. It's a video marketing company, so we work with business owners, nonprofit city agencies, and creating and turning a video into a uh, promotional tool. So, and we couple that with social media, uh, also uh, mobile uh, advertisement, mobile marketing, as well as uh, video marketing throughout the web. And uh, so what I mean by consistency is when you, uh, and, and I find this with, with, with dealing with, with small businesses, uh, we don't, or it just seems like in my experience, we don't, once we set up a marketing, like say email marketing, social media, we may send it out once uh, every six months, right? And uh, that, that, that kind of strategy is not going to work, right? Because you know for yourself as being a person who is uh, either born or part of the uh, American culture, we are inundated by all kinds of advertising, right? And we learn to do this, right? So we have to, as business owners, learn how to get the people who are doing this to do this. Wait a minute, right? So you gotta be consistent in, in order to get that to happen. If, uh, if I only see it every six months and then I have Eric over here, who's my competition, who sends it every month, Right? He's gonna beat me out because you're seeing his stuff every single month or twice a month on a consistent basis. When you go outside on a billboard, whatever, right? On a commercial, uh, a part of social media, those are consistent campaigns that you're putting out. And then the content that you're putting out. So Wendy said it herself, uh, said it best in her presentation. Um, it can't be about you, right? It has to be, you have to talk to the, the the potential client, consumer, target market, like someone who was saying, "Look, I, I always like going to the, the the I always like going into the thinking of uh, selling without selling." That's what I always say in my presentation. So, in order for me to get you to to consider what it is that I'm doing, right, I have to give you something in order to get something for me, right. So, I have to give you information for. So for instance, for our newsletter, we give out educational marketing information. So anybody who's ever gotten a newsletter from me, right, my portion of my selling is very small, right? Everything else is blogs, uh, information you can use for your business, events, you know, places where you can network and also learn. So that is the content, right? And then creativity. So don't give me something that everybody else is doing. Right? What makes you different than everybody else? Right? You are a unique individual. Your business is unique because you're unique. So how do you have that content or that campaign fit your personality in order so I can say when I see it, oh, I can I, I connect right away with, with what she's doing or what he's doing. Okay, very good. Everybody, can you hear? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm loud, I'm loud too, so so three tips. Yes. <laughs> the first tip I actually got from, from, from Wendy about two years ago, and I need to write Wendy a check straight up on this okay. one. Okay. <laughs> um, I really do. So in regards to, and I know, and, I know, and you didn't talk about it today specifically, but I know your two hour, you probably do. It's my open rates on my contact. I use constant contact. I need to be paying y'all for this yeah. right now. <laughs> so, actually, you know, I shouldn't get this one because I'm making so much money out of this tip. But no, what I, what I do is to increase my open rates, and the same tip that I, the Wendy gave, I saw it on the Constant Contact site, is when I title my emails, because we as humans consume data in these little small bite-sized chunks. So let's say if I'm giving a, a, a tip, like uh, you know, I want to say successful ways uh, for you to build your business. If that's the title, people are like, yeah, ways to build my business. But if I use a number, three ways you can build your business. So now it's, you're not reading the Bible, right? It's not a, a long thing. It's something that's, that's quick. So you're going to open it up and read those bullet points, bam, 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 and keep it moving. That compared to, and I did a little test, like Wendy said. I, I, I took half the list 
and half my email list that did that, you know, that three ways and half, and the open rates were like night and day. So using numbers, three ways to do this, 10 ways to do that, that is the way to increase the open rates and increase engagement. Another way, to, another tip is, your LinkedIn profile is so, so, so important. Whether you're using it for career or for, for business. Um, and then that couples with my last one, which is, I call it ambush. I was just telling Ant Antoinette here, um, for, my, for my mobile app, it's called Around the Way. And it's a mobile app that allows you to find the closest black-owned business. So there's, she was asking me, well, well, how did you get to, you know, the 10,000 downloads? And how, did you, how are you making money? And how did you get these partnerships? We signed a partnership deal with the U.S. Black Chamber of Commerce. So how did you get on Ron Busby, who used to golf with Obama when Obama was a center? How did you get in front of all those people? And I tell you what, I couldn't cold call him. It was all based on my LinkedIn profile being complete. Um, his friends, he's a member of Kappa, Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity, I'm a member of Alpha Phi Alpha. Some of our homeboys are connected. We know a lot of the same people. So when I first uh, went to his LinkedIn profile, I saw where he was tweeting, I saw where he was hanging out, so I ambushed him, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm at the same little black tie affair as Ron Busby at the same table. So I'm, so I'm sitting there and I'm handing him a car, what do you do? I, you know, I'm just playing it cool, right? And then maybe a, a month later I see him uh, at some golf outing. And then, so now he, he, he knows me um, a little bit. So then after we exchange and I'm talking about what I'm doing, then he can look me up on LinkedIn, see we have these similar people in common, picks up the phone and says, Eric, I'm the guy, who is he? I don't know who he is. Oh, that's my boy from back to 25 years ago. So then, then I can walk into him and say, you know what, let's do business together. You know me, you know I'm not some shady guy that's trying to take your money. You know, so so in, in summary, in summary, uh, the first tip was the the the, uh, the, the engagement with constant contact. The three ways to build your business, ten ways to do X Y Z A B C. Second thing, having a complete profile on LinkedIn, and lastly, if you're gonna do a B two B, ambush them because it, the way social media is, straight up, it's. I mean, I could not do what I do in 1970 because there's no way that I would have known where he's gonna be. I keep tweeting where he's gonna be next month. I'm, I'm booking a flight. I'm there too. Where I can, where I can buy a ticket, and so you can happen to be in these same places that, that, that people are. And you can play it off cool. Well, I'm just happen to be here. I'm not stalking you, which I am stalking. You. I'm, I'm stalking you. I'm not, but it's like, hey man, we boys now, so I'll tell them, yeah, I stalk you, homie. But back in the day, I just happen to be on the same, you know, same table as you. So those are my three tips. So. Not as uh, not as creative. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. My macaroni and cheese is choking me right now. <laughs> well, uh, the first thing is, is partnerships. I partner with uh, my. I have a, a venue that is. Um, I look at it as real estate. So not only do we have great food, but also great entertainment. So when you come to the location, you're going to get some live music probably one of the only or the few live music venues that are really left around. Uh, we have jazz, R&B, et cetera. So I, I partner with my, with the band, and then I partner with my guests. So I use my, I use my venue to make money, and I tell my guests, you can use the venue too to make your money. So I give them the venue, they make, they do whatever they wish with the venue, they make money, and when their guests come in, their guests buy drinks, et cetera, and I make money. I just want to make sure that their guests that come in, all their pants are above their waist. That's right. We also uh, reach beyond the community <coughs> because today's market is different from uh, 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So 10 years ago, the community of Harlem was probably uh, so small that everybody that, that lived in Harlem went to places in Harlem. No longer the case. People that don't live in Harlem come into Harlem to hang now. Right. And people that live in Harlem leave Harlem frequently to yeah. find places to hang. So there is no thing called loyalty, exactly. right? So in order to get the loyalty, I go beyond. I go beyond Harlem. And I don't rely on the 25% of my client base or customer base that comes in. They're, they belong to the Harlem zip code. 75% belong outside of the Harlem zip code from down on Wall Street, yeah. to New Jersey, to Atlanta, to um, uh, Texas. They love gumbo in Texas, so you got a lot of visitors from, from, from Texas. 
And, um, and so finally is the creativity piece. The creativity is that I have to constantly, constantly, constantly do things differently. So people walk into Creole, they say, I think I've been here before. What do you mean you think you've been here before? You don't know where you've been? <laughs> well, the room is painted. The art that was on the wall is no longer on the wall. The, it was dark and now it's light. Um, the, people, the staff are different. The staff look different. Sometimes the staff is beige, sometimes they're brown. 